26 years old woman, Zenad Sani, Onyi Damola, posted for the mandatory one-year National Youth Service Corps at First Cross Homes Limited has been confirmed dead. The corps member was one of those who lost their lives to the building collapse in the Ikoil area of Lagos. The lifeless body of Zenat was pulled out from the rubble on Wednesday, November 3rd, dashing the hope of her family members who had been at the scene waiting for good news. According to reports, the young lady was initially deployed to Burundi State, but her mother got her redeployed to Lagos due to insecurity in the north. A report by Daily Church said the disease was among the six corps members deployed to the company, but why other narrowly escaped that on the fateful day, Onye Damola got trapped in the rubble. A source at the NYAC said Onye Damola was the only corps member who died in the incident. Onye, as she was fondly called, was a 2021 Barach B corps member who was originally deployed to Medugri but got a redeployment to Lagos after the third week orientation, the source said. A family member who spoke with journalists at the scene of the incident said Onye Demola resumed work at the company about three weeks ago. She has been coming here since then. We did not even know why they sent her here. She was originally posted to Burunu, but her mother redeployed her. If we had known she would have allowed her to continue her youth service in that state, the family so said, oh my God, we asked her not to come to Burunu because of the insurgency, but she went there for the three weeks orientation and came back alive only to come and die. She was a very humble and res respect respectful girl. She would greet everybody when she arrived from work every day. She's the first daughter of her mother and they are just two. Meanwhile, friends and colleagues have taken to Facebook to mourn the deceased. For instance, one Adebola Yusuf posted her photos on Wednesday night. She was among the victims of the 21-story building collapse at Ikoi, but we lost her. May a gentle soul rest in peace. Sani, Zenad, Onye Damola, we love you, but Almighty Hala loves you more. He wrote. Hmm. You can imagine. Why are people saying she should not have redeployed from the north? The girl was killed by uh, this evil government. How many people we allowed their children to serve in the north with the high insecurity issues? I served in Borono State in, 20, in 2003 when things were not this bad and I vowed never to allow any of my children to go there. It is just so unfortunate that somehow, somehow uh, this happened and made uh, this country is not safe through this corruption and insecurity. Nigerian government has made life, you know, horrible for us. Someone just dropped that, honestly, you know. This is really very sad. She was redeployed, you know, to uh, Lagos State because of insecurity in the north. Now corruption killed her in the in the south. You see, this is what Nigerians are saying. Corruption, the insecurity we are facing today is the same corruption. Everything about this government corruption. Bad government. Bad leaders. Because we see no reason why. This is happening in the same country. This is really very sad. Someone said that does not mean she took the wrong decision by leaving Borono State. Yes, it was not a wrong decision anyway. She ran away from death in Borono and met the same death in Lagos. What a tragedy. May I so rest in peace. Those that die there too, may they so rest in peace. It is unfortunate the remaining people that would be pulled out without would have already been dead considering the delay someone in such states without food or water for three days now we die even if 
they, they were survivors that first day, still trapped with the slow rescue, they would be dead already. This kind of rescue needed all hands on deck from every angle, including people living around, willing to help, not using barricades to seal the scene, knowing there are still casualties there. May they are so rest in peace. Honestly, I don't know why they are delaying in this kind of a thing. They're supposed to deploy as many workers that, that are needed there. We are talking about lives. Well, you know, these days lives are no longer valued, so they are taking their time to do whatever thing they are doing. All right, someone said, death is inevitable. When your time is, nobody can stop it, of course, and that is truth. Hard to understand the mystery of life. Only God has the knowledge of the coming of the hour of doom. He sends down the rain and knows what is in the womb. No soul is aware of what we achieve tomorrow and also knows in which land it, it will die. God is all-knowing and all-aware. Is is the God of all universe. Someone said, rest in peace, run from frying pan, then to fire. This is life. Only God can give us a genuine protection. No man can do that for us. When I say that all these things that is happening are problem, this our generation uh, leaders have crossed us. Now, wow. So nowhere is safe in Nigeria. When when then do we run to this from frying pan? I beg your pardon? <clears throat> from frying pan to fire. Honestly, this is really very bad. Moral lesson, if God don't talk, say you go die. You must die. You. And if he says you will live, nothing fit kill you. Rest in peace, my fellow youth couple, he said. So guys, may their gentle soul continue to rest in peace. So guys, I'm dropping it here. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Drop your view below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Thank you.